Sunday, the Sunday after Easter, but it is this year just because of how Easter fell. So we're passing time thinking about the earth and how to be kind to our earth and so on uh, this morning. So I'm glad to see that you're all bright and, and, and up. I, our first song is Touch the Earth Gently. If you have the red book, it's 307. We're doing the first verse twice. And I'm going to read the words, um, just in case you can't look at them at the same time, because I think the first verse really says a lot for today. It says, touch the earth lightly, use the earth gently, nourish the life of the world in our care. Gift of great wonder, ours to surrender, trust for the children tomorrow will bear. So I think it's very meaningful for today. So we're going to find out what that's all about. So take it away, guys. Hi, everyone. It's St. Andrews. We were asked to uh, talk about Earth Rangers today in recognition of Earth Day on April 22nd, which is coming up next Wednesday. And so our family wanted to talk about uh, Earth Rangers. And I'm going to ask the boys a few questions. And they're going to tell you a little bit about what we do with Earth Rangers. So, first of all, Thomas, what is Earth Rangers? Earth Rangers is an organization that helps kids help save the planet by completing missions on the Earth Rangers app and helping to change their behavior for the better. And why did we choose to get involved in Earth Rangers, Owen? Well, we always like animals and we want to help save them. Okay. Um, so, Earth Rangers is sort of a mission-based uh, program for kids to get them thinking about the environment, appreciating nature and animals. And so over the last five years, we've been working on different missions. So today we've laid out some items here on our table to uh, represent some of the missions that we've completed. And so we're gonna go through the items and talk about the different missions a little bit. So maybe you might want to try some of these things uh, yourself at home sometime. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is our container right here and the stuffed animal that Owen has in front of him. So Owen, can you tell us a little bit about why we have these items on the table? Oh, because we did a lemonade. That was like one of our first things we did. We did yep. a wild campaign. We, we had lemonade and we were selling it. <laughs> and oh, try to to save help try to save the Eastern Wolf. Then we did one and we did the Wolverine and the Piping Plover. We used this sign. You probably can't see that <laughs> And, um,. In Earth Rangers, when you do a, um, a wild campaign, you when you raise, like, just say you raised $100, you might get, um, like, maybe a stuffy or a prize, so how much you gave. Maybe, what was it, like, $25, you might get, like... A set of pins. Yeah, like a set of pins. Different prizes. Maybe 50 you can get um, um, a pencil case. case, something like that. Yeah. So there are rewards for some of those Save the Wild campaigns. 
Uh, the next item on our table is this uh, thermometer. So what mission does that represent, Thomas? The thermometer represents our mission where we turn down our thermostats to help try to save energy and therefore change, uh, save the environment. We wore sweaters and blankets instead of turning up the heat to help save energy. And kind of along the same lines, we've got a light bulb here. What does that represent? That LED light bulb represents when we went around our home changing the incandescent light bulbs for LEDs. The LEDs uh, take less energy than the incandescents and produce more light. So they're much, much better for the environment. Great. And how about this moon snail shell, Owen? What was that one to represent? Um, so we went to the beach, we had some fun, we were swimming, and then we helped pick up some garbage on the beach. And then we put them in a garbage can. Right, so we cleaned up uh, an area of a beach and properly disposed of the garbage that we found. And we took pictures. Yeah. And the last item on our table today is this big can of used batteries. So what do we do with those, Thomas? So these batteries represent all the batteries we've collected over the years. And every time we get a full can, like we have now, we take it to a recycling center that can recycle used batteries to make sure they get recycled properly. Great. So maybe some of these things are um, things that you guys can try at home over the next few months to make a difference uh, in our environment. So happy Earth Day, everyone. Goodbye.